Excuse me, are you Adam Graham? The very same. And this is my old-time radio snack wagon. Welcome to the old-time radio snack wagon, where we serve up a bite-sized portion of old-time radio. And now, here's your snack wagon host, Adam Graham. Well, today we're serving up a Western treat, and we'll have a special guest to tell us a little bit about today's program. Andrew Rons is not only the person who edits uh, these episodes, but he's also host of the Old Time Radio Westerns podcast and is celebrating the 15th year since that podcast was launched over at otrwesterns.com. Andrew, welcome aboard the Old Time Radio Snack Wagon. Howdy, howdy, Adam. Well, today we're we're bringing an episode of Guest Par- Star. We played that series before. It was sponsored by U.S. Savings Bond and could feature music, comedy, or drama uh, for the first several years of its run, and then it became all music. Today's episode has a Western theme, and it features Bill Boyd playing Hopalong Cassidy. Andrew, you know a little bit about Hopalong Cassidy. Could you tell us a bit about him? I sure do. Hopalong Cassidy was a fictional character. Uh, Clarence E. Mulford wrote kind of a short story back in the early 1900s. Um, and it kind of focuses on a cowboy who owns a ranch called the Bar 20, and everything kind of happens in conjunction with that. So whether they're delivering cattle to the cattle yards or they're just out riding the range, it generally has something to do with that uh, type of events. And he had uh, quite a bit of movies, obviously a radio program, TV show. So uh, he was definitely... uh, a, a big fixture of popular culture at the time of this episode. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play today's episode. It originally aired for October 9th, 1949. And here's guest star with Bill Boyd uh, in the role of Hopalong Cassidy. <laughs> The United States Savings Bonds Division presents Guest Star. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Ed Reimers, your host for Guest Star, a transcribed feature program presented by this station for United States Savings Bonds as a public service. May it be a reminder that savings means security. Make your future secure through the regular purchase of savings bonds, systematically through the payroll savings plan where you work or the bond-a-month plan where you bank. Today, we're delighted to have as our guest one of the great idols of young America, the outstanding radio and motion picture star Bill Boyd himself in his familiar role of Hopalong Cassidy. You'll hear him in an original Western sketch in just a moment, following our opening musical number by Harry Sosnick and the Savings Bonds Orchestra. It's a Sosnick original called Down Sunset Trail.
Thank you, Harry. And now, friends, Bill Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy and his pal California Carlson have just stopped off in Black Canyon to exchange greetings with their friend Sheriff Tompkins. But they find the sheriff in a very unpleasant mood. It was nice of you in California to stop, Hoppy, but I ain't fit company for man the beast with his looting of the silver mine. Over a hundred thousand dollars worth. I heard about it at Three Oaks. Second time, ain't it, Sheriff? Yep, and the worst part is we ain't found hide in a hair of one ounce of that silver. Figured it was taken out at night on horseback? Nope. My deputies watched every trail and road. Nary a soul's had more than a six-gun with them. Then the silver's still here in town. Well, if it is, there's only a handful of men who'd break the law. And their diggings have been searched with a fine-tooth comb. No, puppy, it ain't possible. Well, them things take time, Sheriff. And that's what I ain't got much of. Election coming up in three weeks, and already folks is looking at me like I'm in with them crooks. Ah, you've been too good a sheriff for these folks to vote you out. And by Dad, we ain't gonna let it happen. Yes, sir, Hoppy, we ain't in no hurry to get back... uh, I say, about getting back to the bar 20, Hoppy. Uh, Oh, you ain't listening to a word I've been saying. Huh? Oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, California. Hey, what are you looking at out the window, Hoppy? Looks like somebody's not going to vote this coming election. Oh, I uh, plumb forgot about that. That shorty bigs there taken away. Dry gulch the night the silver was stolen. Yeah, that's another thing. He sure's got a lot of friends. Friends? Why, there's dude Fletcher, Gammy Dobbs, Kurt Fleming, and the rest of them. You know, it's funny how folks act when there's been a killing. Hmm? Uh, you, you say something, Hoppy? Um... Yeah, I did, California. A uh, uh, sheriff. Let's take a little walk. Well, where are we going, hubby? We're going to attend a funeral. Come on. Now, boys. Uh, look at easy, fellas. Now, watch that tailgate, yeah. man. Uh, excuse me, gents. Maybe I can help. Just a minute, stranger. We don't need no help. I don't mean to interfere. I'd just like to pay my respects well, to Shorty. Don't get out. Uh, it ain't none of your business. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you see, we was good friends of Shorty. And I'll wait he, uh... a day late, stranger. He's boxed up and we're taking him back to Little Creek. You've been mighty attentive. Shorty didn't know he had so many friends. Hey, dude, here comes Bull Mason. Ah, good. Bull Mason's a bad one, Hoppy. You better watch him. Oh, oh there. Uh, what's going on here? Get that wagon loaded. Watch this stranger, Bull. Wants to pay his respects. Yeah? <laughs> well, you paid him, stranger. Now get on down the road. We don't want to make this trip twice. <laughs> now look at here, Bull And you Mason. look here, you little tin badge. You got work to do. Folks being gunned down. Silver's stolen. I ain't taking that kind of talk from you, boy. Boy, if you just... We got it, Sheriff. Let's help load the wagon. Hey, wait, wait. You ain't laying a hand on that box. Why? Here's your rancher, you madman. Uh, 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 don't reach for them six guns. I'll put daylight through oh, you. Oh. Uh, thanks for what you done, Hoppy, but it don't help much. Uh, maybe not. And again, maybe it did. Uh, Uh, How do you mean, Hoppy? There must be a good reason why Bull didn't want anyone to help load the box. If I were you, Sheriff, I'd get a claw hammer. Huh? Get what? You can't get that lid off without one. Uh, Lid off? Yeah. And unless I'm wrong, Sheriff, you'll find in that box the silver you've been looking for. I'll never forget that sheriff's face when he saw them bars of silver in that box, Hoppy. Yeah. Don't seem so happy about it. I'm just thinking how low some men can get. And the look on them fellers' faces when they saw Bull laying on his back. He deserved every bit of it, California. He sure did. Uh, how, how come you thought the silver was in there with Shorty in the first place? Well, the sheriff said the men weren't friends of Shorty's. Yeah, he did. Still, they took over the burial duties and didn't want any interference. It is natural. Well, yeah, but but, but how did you... Know the silver was in the box? Yeah. Well, when two men carried the front end and eight men on the back, there's something mighty heavy back there. Well, doggone it, Hoppy. You make everything sound so darn easy.
Thank you, Bill Boyd. We'll have you back after Harry Sosnick and the Savings Bonds Orchestra play another of Harry's own compositions. Painted Desert. a curtain speech from our star. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Boyd. I want you to know that it was great fun to play Hopalong Cassidy on this savings bond program. Now for just a minute, let me speak to you as Bill Boyd. I had a very special personal reason for wanting to appear on this program, and this is what it is. I think this is the greatest country on earth, and I want to see it continue to be secure. And the real security of America lies in the security of the individual home. Each home should have the security of a nest egg, something set aside to take care of a sudden emergency or to pay Junior's way through college or to make the down payment on a home. Well, the best nest egg I know of is one which is made up of the United States savings bond. Friends, I recommend savings bonds to you as a great way to make your future secure. Thank you and so long. For the past quarter hour, you've been listening to Guest Star, a transcribed feature for savings bonds presented by this station each week at this time as a public service. Today, our guest was the star of radio, motion pictures, and now television, Bill Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy. Assisting him in the play were Charles Steele, Howard Swart, Ken Christie, Joe Duvall, and Dave Light. To all of them, and to Bill Boyd, our sincere thanks. Next week, we'll have another outstanding star and more fine music by Harry Sosnick and the Savings Bonds Orchestra. So we hope you will join us. Meanwhile, this is Ed Reimers saying so long and reminding you that automatic saving is sure saving. Buy United States Savings Bonds.
Welcome back. Well, a bit of mystery worked in there along with the Western elements. Andrew, is this about how Hopalong Cassidy's uh, radio adventures usually go? Yeah, I mean, this was uh, about three months before the, the radio series started. But he had, again, like you said, been in uh, movies beforehand. And this is kind of one of those Western tropes that always seemed to happen. They'd always put something in the coffin and... and it would always be something similar to that. But yeah, this is kind of how it went. You know, uh, Hoppy is a very smart man, sees things that others may not see and puts two and two together before others realize it. Yeah. And uh, he, he he got into quite a bit of scuffle, even in a short uh, little, I guess, mini-sode, we'd call it today. Yeah. I mean, this episode was, what, about 15 minutes long? And I think the storyline was about five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So not a whole lot of time for development. And I think they always do a good job in putting together a decent uh, drama in this period. Uh, so what what's, are you ca currently playing over at the Old Time Radio Westerns? Uh, we're re we're releasing about 80 plus episodes a month in different radio ones, including Hopalong and Cassidy. We're just ending uh, what I call season one. It's the 1950s series. Uh, and we're starting 1951, so there's about you know 50 to 100 more episodes of Hopalong and Cassidy. So if you thought you liked it, this would always be a good chance to get over to otrwesterns.com and or look us up and see what we've got. But we are putting out, like I said, over 80 episodes uh, a month of different westerns. Yeah, and uh, Bill Boyd he he also stars in the uh, ongoing radio series, right? Yeah, Bill Boyd is the main star. Uh, Andy Clyde, which is California Carlson, kind of missed him in this episode. Um, but it's his bubbly nature and his hearty laugh that, you know, makes you want to keep coming back. All right. And that's over at otrwesterns.com if you want even more of Hopalong Cassidy and uh, expanded adventures beyond five minutes. Uh, and as we said at the start of the program, you've been doing this for 15 years, so a lot of episodes, uh, incredible lot of stuff that you've got over there at otrwesterns.com. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here. Uh, again, it's really fascinating just to see how flexible uh, they can be with a guest star. And I, I always appreciate when you're able to tell a story and to, I guess in some ways, this is almost a backdoor pilot for uh, Hop Along Cassidy, a preview of coming attractions. And it definitely, I think, left the original audience hungry for more. It's time for me to close up the old snack wagon. But don't worry, we'll be back with another serving of old time radio goodness before you know it. If you want to enjoy some of our longer form podcasts, you can feast away at my website at greatdetectives.net. Your emails are also welcome at adam at snackwagon.net. The Old Time Radio Snack Wagon comes to you from Boise, Idaho. Your host is Adam Graham. Sound production is by Rhines Media, LLC. You can listen to past episodes of the Old Time Radio Snack Wagon as well as connect on social media at our website at snackwagon.net. Email suggestions for episodes to adam at snackwagon.net. This has been the Old Time Radio Snack Wagon. Until next time, goodbye.